Hello friends of Dermoscopy and welcome to this podcast on a new dermoscopic algorithm for the diagnosis of acral melanoma. Our traditional knowledge on dermoscopy of pigmented lesions of, on the acral skin suggests that when we see pigmentation located on the furrows of the acral skin, then this pattern is associated with the diagnosis of the nevus. In contrast, when we see pigmentation located on the ridges of the acral skin, then this dermoscopic pattern is associated with a diagnosis of melanoma, and this is the so-called parallel ridge pattern. In fact, based on this simple rule, we are able to differentiate uh, between acral nevi and acral melanoma in several cases. In fact, the parallel ridge pattern, where when present, is usually evident, easy to recognize, not only in invasive tumors like this one, but also in early incited tumors like this one. The problem, however, is that not all melanomas display a parallel ridge pattern. And I will show you now some examples, like this early inside to melanoma, where it cannot be safely assessed if the pigmentation is located on the ridges or on the furrows of the actual skin, or this early inside to melanoma, where again a parallel ridge pattern is not evident, or this invasive melanoma, where again it's not easy to say if the pigmentation uh, is along the furrows or along the ridges of the skin, or this early invasive melanoma completely lacking a pattern of parallel lines. In fact, as we found is in this uh, large multicentric study that we recently conducted, only 38% of melanomas display a parallel ridge pattern. This means that 62% of melanomas do not display a parallel ridge pattern. And this means that we are at risk of missing several melanomas if we consider only the parallel ridge pattern as a melanoma criterion. This is true both for in situ and for invasive tumors, as you can see in both columns that 50% or more of melanomas do not display a parallel ridge pattern. Definitely, the presence of a parallel ridge pattern represents the most robust and potent melanoma predictor, meaning that when we see a parallel ridge pattern, we can be almost sure that this is a melanoma. However, as I mentioned before, Several melanomas, many melanomas, do not display a parallel ridge pattern, like this thick melanoma, or like this early invasive melanoma, or like this inside to melanoma. However, if one focuses on the dermoscopic morphology of these lesions, he could understand that although these melanomas do not display a parallel ridge pattern, they can be recognized based on the traditional melanoma criteria that we know for, for melanoma of the trunk, like asymmetry of, of colors or asymmetry of structures or the presence of irregular dots, for example. And in fact, if we see the analytic results of our study in the last column, where are the melanoma criteria, we can see that traditional features like asymmetry of structures or asymmetry of colors or irregular dots or globules or blotches are more frequent melanoma criteria comparing to the parallel ridge pattern. After a thorough analysis of our results, we concluded with this algorithm under the acronym BRAF, where we suggest four positive melanoma predictors and two negative melanoma predictors. Among the positive melanoma predictors, the parallel ridge pattern predominates, posing immediately three points for melanoma, when we only need one point to set the diagnosis of melanoma. This means that when we see the parallel ridge pattern, then immediately we can set the diagnosis of melanoma. And then we also have asymmetry of structures, asymmetry of colors, and the irregular blotch. On the other side, we have two predictors of nevi, which are the parallel furrow pattern and the fibrillar pattern. Our new findings do not question at all the traditional knowledge that a parallel furrow pattern is associated with nevi and parallel ridge with melanoma. In contrast, it confirms this notion and it completes this suggestion. And I would like to, to suggest you my proposal for on how to manage uh, pigmented lesions on the acral skin through four different scenarios. The first scenario is quite easy because we apply our dermatoscope and we see a parallel ridge pattern. And when we see a parallel ridge pattern, we immediately can set the diagnosis of melanoma. If we would like to calculate points, it would be immediately plus three. So no question, this is a melanoma. Scenario number two is also easy because we apply our dermatoscope and we see a parallel furrow pattern, maybe lattice-like in some parts of the lesion, 
uh, but parallel full row pattern, completely symmetric with no other melanoma features. Uh, or in this case, we see a fibrillar pattern with no other melanoma features, both of them counting for minus one point for melanoma. So no problem, this is just an ibus. Scenarios three and four are more interesting. Because in scenario 3, we apply our dermatoscope and we see in the left part of this lesion a parallel furrow pattern. And the parallel furrow pattern is supposed to be suggestive of an ibus. If we consider, however, the whole architecture of this lesion, we can understand immediately that this is not a symmetric lesion. And we can also see an irregular blotch on the right side part of the lesion. So if we calculate our points, we do have minus 1 because of the presence of the parallel furrow pattern, but we have plus one because of the asymmetry of structures and plus one because of the irregular blotch. So in total, we have plus one point, which is suggestive of melanoma. Another example where, again, we can see parallel furrow lines, but we can also see an irregular blotch on the left side of the lesion. So, Calculating our points, we have again minus one for the parallel furrow pattern, but plus one for the asymmetry of structures because the blotch is not centrally located, it's eccentric, so we have asymmetry of structures, and we also have the blotch itself counting for one point uh, in total plus one melanoma. And another case of a lesion displaying a fibrillar pattern, which accounts for minus one point for melanoma, but we have asymmetry of structures and asymmetry of color, so if we calculate our score again, we have uh, a total of plus one, which means melanoma. And the last scenario, which is quite frequent in clinical practice, we apply our dermatoscope and we do not see a pattern of parallel lines. We don't have a parallel furrow, we don't have a parallel ridge. In this case, one criterion only for melanoma would be enough to give us one point and set the diagnosis of melanoma. And in this case, we have an asymmetry of colors because the black color is uh, occupying the two-thirds of the lesion, but the right part of the lesion, we have a light brown color. So asymmetry of colors is enough to set the diagnosis of melanoma in the absence of any other criteria.